It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, the 13th of March. I'm James Spann. Some rain at times later today and tonight. Much colder tomorrow. And we go below freezing by Wednesday and Thursday morning. And a big blizzard for the northeast United States. Here we go. Water vapor satellite view. The players are on the field. For the big storm in the northeastern states, a clipper-type system coming down from Canada, moisture streaming in from the south, all of that will be phasing for a northeastern blizzard. We'll just see some rain in here later today and tonight. No blizzard of 93 this year, which was uh, wrapping up 24 years ago today. Early this morning, you can see uh, rain and snow over Arkansas. In fact, there's a closer look at that. Uh, probably some thunder with that. Uh, and then you can see the snow behind the heavier rain into Missouri and northern Arkansas, and that'll be moving in here this afternoon. Uh, no snow for us with this uh, today or tonight, just rain. Maybe some flurries tomorrow morning. Hey, freezing at Muscle Shoals, they're down to 32. But most spots around here are in the low 40s to start the day, and uh, we'll creep up toward 50 today, but temperatures, again, way below average for this time of the year. Very cold air dropping in from Canada. Temperatures below zero over uh, North Dakota. Parts of Montana, Minnesota, and that's going to be felt here uh, tomorrow into Wednesday and Thursday morning. Of course, the big story is the blizzard. You can see a lot of issues up north. Chicago getting some snow today. But uh, this is the story, a blizzard warning, in effect, for New York City and Long Island up to uh, New Haven. Winter storm warnings in effect for the rest of New England, the northeastern states. Well, they'll just be buried. We'll check the uh, totals here in just a second. On the convective outlook today, a marginal risk of severe weather from near Tampa Bay down to Fort Myers. But really, uh, for where we are, we have no severe weather worries this week, obviously, with cold air coming in. And the rain, about one half inch for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week. And there could be some... Uh, Rain maybe late this week or over the upcoming weekend, but probably nothing too heavy. All right, model fans, here's the GFS, the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. Back on daylight saving time. You see the uh, trough coming in down below that. The clipper producing rain for uh, Chicago and Detroit, Indianapolis. We'll see rain moving in here. This is the her at 1 o'clock today. Could see some rain uh, as early as late this morning. The big batch of rain just creeping into northwest Alabama. Then by 7 o'clock, everybody should be wet. Uh, the rain should be fairly widespread statewide. That'll be ending later tonight. And then tomorrow, got a strong north wind, cold air advection. In the morning, we might see a few sprinkles, maybe a few flurries north of Birmingham. But uh, a breezy and cold day. And, of course, the story is the blizzard in the northeastern states. Surface low, 985 millibars. This off the GFS at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And that's just nasty. That'll shut down uh, uh, New York City and Boston's airports, uh, Philadelphia. Washington, D.C. is kind of on the periphery of this. Here's a look at the totals. This is coming off the National Digital Forecast Database. This is basically from the Weather Service offices. This is vetted. Uh, predictions. And again, you can see snow amounts of one to two feet in through there. It's going to be a whopper of a snowstorm, big time. So don't even think about trying to go up there tomorrow. And then Wednesday, they'll have lingering uh, wind and snow, but the big snows will be winding down. And where we are, Wednesday will just be cold and dry. We start the day in the 20s. The uh, GFS is showing 27 for Birmingham. Some of the colder pockets up in North Alabama, could see upper teens. The day will be sunny. The high will be in the upper 40s. These are the anomalies. The east is very cold on Wednesday. And for some, it's spring break. It always happens, doesn't it? Thursday. Again, Thursday morning's going to be cold. Uh, we'll go back in the 20s again. The GFS showing 26 for Birmingham. And the high will be around 50. The sky will be partly sunny. And then Friday, clouds will increase, but... This latest run here, the GFS, holds the rain north and west of the state. We have seen other runs with rain in here on Friday. And then Saturday as the weekend begins. It looks cloudy and warmer. We go in the 60s and a chance of some scattered light rain, nothing too heavy. And Sunday, again, a lot of clouds, maybe some rain, but uh, nothing too heavy. And temperatures will likely climb up in the 70s. It'll finally feel like spring again. And this is a week from today. 
Monday the 20th, a zonal flow. Partly sunny, chance of showers would be small. And again, we'll be well up in the 70s. It is, these cold snaps don't last long in March, thank goodness. Here's the end of the forecast period. Wednesday of next week, the 27, uh, 22nd, troughing to the west. A pretty deep surface low near Kansas City. And that looks pretty warm and breezy if this verifies. and maybe stormy just beyond this. But as we all know, this is in the land of voodoo. This is beyond seven days. But yeah, look at the numbers come down. Lows uh, go below freezing Wednesday and Thursday. It looks like Thursday morning will be the coldest with mid-20s. And then we warm up. 70s coming back for next week with lows back in the 50s. So if your spring break is next week, it will feel much better. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.